about to enter a world which a single century ago was uncharted and unknown. I have slipped the surly bonds of earth and danced the skies on laughter's silvered wings. Sunward I've climbed and joined the tumbling mirth of sun-split clouds and done a hundred things you have not dreamed of. Wheeled and soared and swung high in the sunlit silence. Hovering there, I've chased the shouting wind along and flung my eager craft through footless halls of air. Delirious burning blue, I've topped the windswept heights with easy grace, where never lark or even eagle flew. And while with silent lifting mind I've trod the high untrespassed sanctity of space, put out my hand and touched the face of God. have ridden the silken morn, they have patterned the silent and sunlit sky. Under Cancer and under Capricorn, they have flown where no birds fly. My wings have covered the width of the world, or the tapestried earth, the shot silk of the sea, or the conquered mountains, cloud pennants unfurled. They have whispered their song, you are free, you are free. What is it in men's souls that sets them longing for an element not their own? What is it that enables them to master the hazards of weather and technicalities of machine to overcome the sinking fear of a first flight alone? Golf 2-0, takeoff. First solo. Golf 2-0, clear takeoff. Bring her back in one piece. Thanks, what about me? Now then. Throttle to full power. Rev spot on. Oil above 20. Yeah. Well, come on. This is it. Brakes off. Keep her straight. Keep her nose on the river. That's it. 65. 70. That's better. Easy does it. Now speed to 85 and stick back. She's off. We're off. Marvellous. We're all right. We're doing all right. Now keep her climbing steady. Undercarriage. Up. And the lights go out. Throttle down to 95%. Gosh, I 
Five's ready. Trim it back for straight and level. That's it. That's fine. Now keep a look out for other aircraft. Smith is up somewhere in Baker Six. Coming up to a thousand. There we are. Now a 30 degree turn. Gently. Smoothly. Not bad. 30 degree back again. And straight and under down relay. Really. Golf 2 0 downwind. I wonder what it's like to fly in midnight. That must be real fly. What am I doing? Undercarriage down. Hope to heck it is. Three greens, fine. Just a job. Boy, it's going to be a party tonight. Harness tight and locked. Brakes on. Now turn onto base leg. Throttle back to 65%. Check the undercarriage. Three greens. Golf 2 0, finals. Three greens. Golf 2 0, land. This is where the fun begins. Anything can still happen. Easy. That's it. I wonder what Sir's thinking. Keep her steady. That's it. Straighten up. No, not yet. Now, straighten up now. Why don't we land? Seems too fast to me. That's it. I've done it. I'm down. Stand up the beer boys. It's on me. I've made it. Great. No more first solo anyway. Come on, finish it in style. Sure. All right, I'm coming. I know, I know. I've still got plenty to learn. East to the dawn and southward to the sun, borne on aloft by man's great gift of wings, to legend lands that make the pulses run, and towns that leap with names of ancient kings. Remote beyond the mosques of old Stanbul, are wastes, men say, that have a magic still, where night winds range the desert, breathing cool, slow life on blinded eye and brain and will. Triumphing over time and space, a pilot becomes a particle of the great kingdom of the skies. This has been achieved by his complete mastery of his aircraft and the element in which it flies. He knows just what his machine will do, how far it will carry him. With this new element at his disposal, he has attained exquisite sensations of purity and power. are his in the high air. What hazard does his spirit dare or rapture? By what mystic right does he approach the heaven's height? By the mazes of what solemn dance does he to the still stars advance? Exalted above earth he flies in the strange silence of the skies. Exultant, 
By steep steps he soars to gaze upon the golden doors of sunrise. If so, he may trace the springs of light and the pure place of spirits. How can they know that joy to be alive who have not flown? How can they know the grandeur of the sky, the earth below, the restless sea and waves that break and die with ceaseless ebb and flow? So long has puny man to earth been chained, who now is free, and with the conquest of the air has gained a glorious liberty. As all men, when they arrive from the skies, the pilot appears a little remote from this planet. His eyes, like the eyes of a sailor that have long scanned the skyline, still seem focused on vast dimensions. It's a damp and dreary day down here on Earth, but he has been cleansed in the mountain freshness of the skies. He has acquired the ecstasy that only a pilot knows. A touch of that evaporating ecstasy is still on him as he walks to the hangars to join the others for tea.